So once we had made the game, we wanted to actually see if it, if it worked and if, if you know, what, what humans could do and what, what could computers do and how did they compare. So we set up a test, basically, where we let the humans and the computers both fold a set of proteins and see who could get better, who could get closer to the right answer. And what we found was that in particular cases where a particular kind of structural rearrangement was involved, the humans actually were able to outperform the computers in most of the cases. And where the computer would actually get stuck and wouldn't be able to find the right kind of move, humans were actually able to kind of see how the pieces could fit together and, and persist with their ideas to move past the places where the computers would get stuck and find a better answer. So encouraged by that, we wanted to try out the game on a real, uh, a real open scientific problem. And so this is a rhesus monkey. And the Mason Pfizer monkey virus retroviral protease is a key protein that leads to AIDS in rhesus monkeys. And so we actually gave the, um, the structure of this particular protein that both the experimental biochemist and the computational biochemist that we've been working with, um, they had been working on it for, for a long time. The experimentalists had been working on it for uh, well over 10 years. We gave it to the players in the game. And in under three weeks, they were actually able to come up with the right answer and the right structure and solve for the structure of this protein related to this disease. And so we were all really, really excited about this. The, uh, the experimentals we were working with actually um, were in Poland, and so we had you know, a Skype champagne bottle opening because they were very excited. It's something they had been working on for 10 years. Finally, you know, they got to see the, the end of that and see, see the results. Um, so it was a really great kind of um, result that came out of that. 